Hey there, I'm Sarah Christman, the author of the Tales of Chetsamoka. And I'm Gabriel Christman. And today we're going to tell you a little bit about Victorian tandem bicycles as teamwork machines. So one of the first things to notice about a bike like this is it's set up to have the woman in the front and the man in the back. You can tell that by the shape of the frame because this is for the lady's skirt. And that does a few different things. By having the woman in the front, she's the one who sees what's coming. And statistically, women have better reflexes than men. And statistically, men have more upper body strength. This is why there are different Olympic categories for different sports for men and women. That all else being equal, statistically, women have better reflexes. And so by putting in the woman in the front, she's the one who's going to see what's coming first, so she can react to it first. And by moving the handlebars, her husband's handlebars move, so not only is she telling him what's coming vocally, she's telling him by moving the handlebars, and so he's actually feeling it in his hands. And back in the back, he's the one with the greater strength, so he's directly above the drivetrain. And so he's acting on the machine in the more burly man way. <laughs> and since most women were shorter than most guys, this also gave the woman a view in the front so that she wasn't having to appear at the man's back and try to look around. And the man could look a little bit over her shoulder and still be able to see where they were going. And then <clears throat> some other things. What else were we going to talk about? So, the pedals here are connected by a timing chain that goes right down the center. This is to keep it away from the woman's skirt. And that means that when one set of the pedals turns, both sets of them turn in either direction. And so this is a fixed gear, so there's no coasting on this bike. And when you want to slow it down, you both have to work together to exert back pressure on the pedals in order to slow the whole bike down. So accelerating is cooperation, and slowing down is cooperation, steering is cooperation, and everything about these bikes just makes you work together. Mm -hmm. And they were a good metaphor for marriage in that way. And these often got called courting tandems, but they were just as much for married couples. And in fact, a lot of the time, because married couples tended to be a little more established in life than someone who was just dating, they tended to have a little more money. So these were actually owned by more married couples ne than necessarily people who were just dating. And also, in the cycling clubs, there would often be what they called a club bus, where they had a tandem that got shared and loaned out, and that got used for courting a lot. And, yeah, being on a tandem was just a great metaphor for life and for love and for teaching. Thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a nice thumbs up and remember to tell your friends about my books. Happy reading!
Give me all of that. 